Welcome to the Leaky Waiters YouTube channel and welcome to the sixth episode of the Tagged Out series. Got a great episode for you today. It is me and my brother's annual bow hunting trip to the Finger Lakes region. It is the rut. Bucks are going crazy and on the move. It is a Friday afternoon, just got out of work. Hopefully, gonna see some deer this afternoon. I'm going to a special tree in my heart, the tree I shot my first deer out of. So hopefully, there's some deer on the move. Hopefully we see something, and hopefully we get a couple big bucks down. Here we go. I'm in the tree, this is it, right here. This is the beauty that I shot my first three deer out of. I got back up in here and there's giant rubs everywhere. Just from where I'm sitting, I can see five rubs that are all on trees that are at least four inches on in diameter. Big, big rubs. I did kick up a doe on my way in. She didn't wheeze, she only took two pounds and then kind of walked off, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Weather is awesome, wind is good, nice and cold. Start this weekend off with a freaking nice buck. That'd be huge. My brother's getting in tonight. We're gonna camp it out tonight, and then hopefully have a great weekend this weekend. So I figured I'd tell you why I chose this spot right now during the rut where bucks are going to be going between different sections of bedding. This is basically, as you can see, I'm on a huge hill and off my left shoulder there's a huge ravine and about 30 yards that way there's a huge ravine where it literally drops about 80 to 100 feet down on either side. So this is the only place where the deer can travel and there's bedding at the top of this and bedding on the bottom of this. This is basically just a good highway for deer to travel on and i mean there is some acorns here too over my right shoulder they've been feeding a lot right there it's basically just using the topography to funnel deer movement it's officially something i haven't seen any deer moving I did just hear one though across the creek at the bottom of the ravine just heard it in the creek again. We got 30 minutes left. Deer here always move right in last night. Very optimistic. All right, it's sunset. I'm pretty happy with this set, even though I didn't see a deer while I was sitting. I saw a deer while I was getting in, and there's a ton of buck signs. So, time to get down, go set up camp, get ready for tomorrow. Home sweet home. It's like 11. 30 or 10 30 already got frost on the tent that's great home sweet home Hey, good morning everyone. Got down to 30 degrees last night. Me and my brother, we were camping, driving to the spot that we're gonna go hunt. Saw a deer yesterday. I mean, see a whole bunch of bucks and deer walking on the road, of course. Feeling really good about today. We saw tons and tons and tons of buck sign yesterday between fresh scrapes, fresh rubs, where the rubs are like four, five inches in, three to five inches in on diameter. These trees are absolutely demolished. We're on our way to the spot. Got like a 40 minute drive ahead of us. Past couple years, we've always seen deer here. So it's just a matter of if we can get lucky if one walks by. So here we go. It's six o'clock. We've got well over an hour to get in and get set up before shooting light. Just gonna get ready and hit the woods. Here we go.
a slow morning for me. I haven't seen a single deer. I didn't got in nice and good. Didn't spook anything. My brother's having a field day a couple hundred yards away from me. He's seen a nice six-pointer, button buck, and two does. He's seeing deer. The six-pointer was harassing the doe. The deer are in rut mode right now, you know. Now I just need a big old buck to come full bore right up and down this ridge. We've been joking around all week. We've been saying we want to have two bucks down by 10 o'clock in the cooler by 12. And then we're salmon fishing by 2. Those came in around, I think, right around 10 o'clock. So it's been about an hour since they were here. They were here for, oh, 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 okay, oh, I guess they were still here. I don't have a doe tag for this unit, so like, doesn't even matter. It would have been nice to keep them around, just in case a buck came looking for them. What I'm thinking about doing is, I think I'm gonna get down around 11.30, grab a cup of coffee, grab a sandwich, then gonna head to another spot that's just pitted in this marsh and I'm gonna go try and find me some marsh bugs. Brother saw two bucks technically and two does technically so actually no he saw five deer he saw another deer after that. Seeing some deer. Oh, I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. Get some food in me and then I'm gonna go hit up a different spot and see if I can find some more fresh sign even though there is fresh sign here. I want to make sure that I'm seeing the freshest sign I can see. So I'm gonna go scout out another spot. And then if I don't get anything tonight, then I'll pick either between this spot or the other spot for tomorrow morning's hunt. Got some much needed coffee a much needed sandwich. I'm excited about going to this spot that it is just thick, thick, thick bedding everywhere. Last time I was here was during rifle season, loaded with signs. So I'm hoping that there's deer bedded down in there and that there's gonna be bucks moving between the bedding. Gonna get in there, check it out, hopefully see a whole bunch of sign and that will at least make my decision a little easier tomorrow on where I'm gonna sit.
just a mess of a time right now. I walked really, really far, tried to get pitted, and I just basically, the whole entire swamp went from being like a little wet to basically like at my knees, turned it around, backed out of there. All the trees were dead. I wouldn't have been able to set up in them anyways. It started heading basically south, came along the river, food there, and there's food over there. And there's a huge trail that's running the other bank right here. And there's a huge clearing right here. And there's just trails zigzagging all over the place over here. So I'm just gonna sit here. I got great cover with all this high grass. And I'm just gonna hope something walks by. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Sadly, did not get a deer this weekend. My brother saw some deer. I saw a couple deer. I didn't have any doe tags. It was so hard to have a nice doe that close to the stand and just let it walk away. Uh, my brother almost had a six pointer within range, but little spoiler alert, there is some success coming to Leaky Waiters YouTube channel. So do me a favor. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to follow along, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.